gonna show you how to clean the cage. As you can see, it's pretty messy. There's just kind of just poop everywhere. Okay, and also while you're cleaning the cage, um, my bird is used to being on my bed, on my pillow. She relaxes there. You can also uh, put your bird in a separate smaller cage uh, for a little bit or how I have her just in her own little spot with somebody supervising her. Okay, so you're gonna need a sponge like this. Make sure that you have one sponge to dedicate um, just to this because you don't want any chemicals on it because we're just gonna clean it with water, that's it. Okay, and you probably as well want to use some sort of bucket. That would be helpful too. Just fill it with like some water. I find that some warm water works best. Okay, so you don't need a lot. Just a bit to dip the sponge in and just soak it out. So I'll just dip it in like this. Squeeze it out. Okay, so we're gonna start with the outside part. And this part isn't too hard. You just give it a light scrub over just to generally clean it. If you are someone who lives in warm climates, then it'd be best to do this outside where you can just soak up your driveway or something, have the sun warm it up. But sadly, it is winter right now where I am, so that's not really a question for me. You can see these parts that have dry poop, you just want to give it a bit of a stronger scrub. And it'll come off like that. I like doing this just to get around the edges. Cleans it right off. You can also use an old toothbrush or um, just a literal brush with a handle if you find that easier. I personally prefer the sponge. Okay, it's important that you clean the cage at least once a month or when you see it that it's just very dirty because if you just leave poop Kind of dried and lying around um, your bird is gonna want to pick that off they're very clean generally as ironic as that is and they don't want poop in their house either just as much as I doubt you want poop in your house so they're gonna want to pick that off and you don't want them eating their own poop that's kind of gross you scrub it I'm just gonna dip it in again shake it out I want to make sure that if you have ropes like this you just give them a good little twist because there can be some dried food, some poop on those two that you just want to make sure no bacteria grows there because you may not see that bacteria but if it is there then it's just going to, your bird's going to bite that and you don't want them getting sick. sure that you also clean the toys inside so just because I'm filming with one hand um, normally you would take out the toys and clean them but I'm just gonna do this okay so just make sure you clean the top the sides and especially this region here if your cage has this this gets really dirty I just cleaned off a bunch of poop from there and as you can see, the water got pretty gross. Okay, so make sure that we're gonna clean the inside bars as well. So we just wanna detach the top of the cage. So that over right there, and now we have this exposed. So as you can see, there's a lot here that you probably wouldn't see if you didn't take it apart. And a lot over there. So um, we're also gonna change the paper. It's full of food and poop. And this can should be able to lift, so you probably just want to take that out and take out the paper from the inside as well. Okay, so with this can get easily messy, so I just like to grab it like this and roll it in on itself. There's still going to be a lot that you're not going to catch. That's okay. So just make sure you roll this. So nothing else falls out on the way to the garbage and you're just gonna take this and pour it all into a garbage um, or green bin whatever you're gonna put this in and just throw this out into the garbage okay so once you have all this poured out just make sure you give a good scrub to the inside part even though she doesn't have accessibility to it you still don't want any bacterial growth happening in here okay 
so just give that a good rinse and you can just dry it with some paper towel just very easily just um dry it up so in case you don't have anything to naturally dry it like the sun or something then that's a good replacement okay so if you have large masses like this uh that kind of just got accumulated um I would try first with a paper towel to see how much you can just pick off and then scrub it so that it's a lot easier to do so that way. And just make sure that when you're going to do that, just keep it over a surface that you don't want all of this landing into so it's already falling apart because you don't want that on the floor. Uh, so just to recap, make sure you clean each part, the bottom, this lining, the tray, and the cage itself, all the toys and whatnot. So this took me about half an hour to do of uh, scrubbing, of cleaning, and you know, make sure you clean your workstation because that ends up kind of gross. And uh, yeah, so again, just make sure you don't use any chemicals. You really just need water uh, to do this. And um, I know it's not ideal every month uh, to do so, but if you can try, that would be amazing. And I also know that it's, you can't sometimes get every single spot, as you can see. There's some things I just could not get rid of. That's okay. But it's it's hard to. Is that Feliz? Is that Feliz?